Hello YouTube and I am going to show you about photo editors and how to edit the photos. The first thing you need is basically your photo. So you need a good camera and actually my Sony CX240 as I reviewed in my other video actually I'm recording um, on 17 megapixels and not 9.2 because well 9.2 is a little bit mm, 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 little, but that was standard quality I'm on high quality highest quality is 24 megapixels just adding that in for the people who watched the video if it wasn't that high quality it was on standard 9.2 megapixels and not 17 megapixels so let's just getting it into the photo editor so you're going to need your photo, your photo editor, and then what you're going to do with it. So let's go to the screen. So here's the photo editor I love. It's called Pixlr. And actually, Daryl Eves has a how to create, uh, I think, a thumbnail video using this editor. So if you want to check out his channel, go ahead. I subscribed to him, so Daryl Eves, I'm just giving you an honorable mention. So what you can do is you can create a new image just from scratch, open an image from the computer, or open or open image from URL. So you can so right here or you can do open image from library or mobile device, but I'm gonna do from computer because I just took an image that I kinda wanted to edit. So let's go to my camera. If you can't see my files, you know, it just doesn't record that. I got my image. So it's just a picture of my lamp, my bed, and my little stuffed penguin on the other side, right side. So if you're a little bit laughing about that, go ahead. I'm not offended. So you can do anything you want. You can add texts in lots of different styles and all forms. It's really cool. So let's text this. So you can write what's in your text if you double click. And this is all my Chromebook, so this is compatible. So let's say this. Good night. Sleep. I'm just making that as an example. I would never do that. And I really like full size 130. Okay. Style. I'm not doing regular. I want to do bold. Color. Okay, for good night's sleep, you got to do the blue. It just cannot be a good night's sleep one without the blue. Getting that nice dark blue. So you have all these cool advanced tools for photo editing. Whoops, I didn't, I accidentally didn't save it. So what you're going to want to do is, oh, no, I want to get the into the blue, have the dark blue, dark navy with the black. Yeah, that's awesome. So now that's what I get. Good night's sleep. And this is nice, cool, advanced tools. Okay, and if you want to, you can move stuff around. That's what I need to do. Here. Move that. Whoops, oh man. You can really zoom in. So, as you can see, there's tons of stuff. And after that, you can go to File. Then click save. You probably can't see it. But you save that on your files. You know, and then you can use it for stuff. Gosh, you need to get out of that zoom. Whoa. Get to the full picture. Hope you can see that. Yeah, I like that. So then I can save it and all that. And maybe I'll even post it on my channel art. I'm looking up to posting some new channel art with this photo editor. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you later. And one last thing before I go. 
my megapixels on my camera can go up to 24 if you didn't hear that. And my lowest megapixels, I think, is about 5. I'm not sure, 4 or 5 megapixels. But in a while, like I'm saying, by the end of this year, I might get a DSLR. So goodbye.